morning. Today is a massive day for all sorts of reasons. It's mum and dad's 64th wedding anniversary. It's June the 25th, 2024. But also, mum has been having treatment for colorectal cancer. And today, after three months of chemotherapy, we go to the hospital to find out the results of her scan. So such an important day. Uh, if you'd like to know what happens, obviously I will do another video to let you know. So please do subscribe. Um, that would be amazing. Dad has had a stroke as well. Um, he had a stroke on the 22nd of March. I'll link a couple of videos um, into the description here so that you can catch up with what's been going on um, if you'd like to know more about that. Dad has been doing okay, um, but last night was really difficult. He had a bad headache again. He couldn't understand um, what was going on, why his head was bad. Um, he couldn't really explain to me what it was like. Um, so obviously you worry when he had a severe headache and then um, got this sort of the, this um, this stroke but that was 11 days after his sudden severe headache um, so they said it may or may not have been related to that but with his headache last night it was really difficult because he just goes oh, oh headache, headache. Uh, and it was really hard because I thought, how bad is it you know are the tablets working? If not, do I need to call an ambulance? What's going on? And eventually he did get better and it, it paid to wait that little bit and see what was going on. But it's really hard making those calls, you know. If I make the wrong call, he could die. And it's, it's yeah, it's really stressful trying to make those calls and make the right ones. We made a few changes, um, quite sad as you can see the fish pond has gone, or rather the fish have gone, but um, yeah. The fish were put in here just travelling a really short distance to a massive lake. A friend of ours owns this lake and he's going to put them in there, they're going to have such a fantastic time. A couple of the fish were getting a little bit too big for that pool. So for our pond, so yeah, it's a it's a good thing that they've gone in that sense. Yeah, it's sad, but um, yeah, it's for the best really. So I got these for Mum and Dad's wedding anniversary. Planted them up the other day. They look so beautiful. Look at these. only snag with this this was like a, a supposed to be a heart but a bird decided it wanted it for its nest so it tried to dismantle it but yeah. those were the Nemesias absolutely beautiful and then I've got these which are petunias absolutely stunning they just feel like velvet beautiful and then look at this one a completely black they're so gorgeous and then I've got these jewel of the desert to go in as well oh, that's better sorted ready for the day I've got to go and get the papers uh, the, we've got a shop not far away luckily so I'm gonna go down and get the papers get everything sorted get mum and dad opening their cards and uh, then um, I've got to get to work. The appointment is 11 o'clock and um, it's a bit of a drive so I'm going to pop to work for a short time, get back and then we'll drive mum down to the hospital. The scan will tell us how well the chemotherapy has worked. She's on a dose of 75% um, which hopefully will do the trick. It's not going to get rid of the cancer but it will kind of keep it at bay hopefully stop it spreading. Let's just hope it's worked. If it hasn't, there are other options. Obviously we can up the dose of chemotherapy. We can try um, immunotherapy and things. So, you know, if it hasn't worked, you know, it, it, there's more, more sort of um, treatment options there. Just really hoping for good news. Fingers crossed. Go and see.